Nowadays the majority of the students are online, they all have different laptops, different software, and they are focused on the tools and not on what they are trying to learn. With technology that's always changing, it's very hard for educational institutions to keep up with that using traditional physical computer labs. This is where the Azure Lab Services enables you to create a computer lab in the cloud. It's a new way of providing hands-on learning environments that can be customized to be exactly what they need for a specific class lab or specific projects that can be accessed from anywhere, anytime. When we use Azure Lab Services, students can access the softwares on the virtual environment and everyone can have the same experience. In a normal lab environment, most computers needs to be continually managed, new softwares would have to be installed and configured. With Azure Lab Services we can simplify that process, that the faculty can customize the Azure Labs, they can put whatever software they want for their class. So, how do we set up an Azure Lab Service? First of all, we will need an active Azure subscription. Also, I have created a resource group. Select Add from the resource group. Search for Lab Service. And select Create. I will enter a name for the lab account, and I will name it, Computer Science S01. Select the appropriate subscription, resource group and location. And chose Advance. These are going to be the default settings that are going to be applied to each individual lab. Also these are configurable within each lab which means a lab owner or teacher can modify these settings for their particular lab. The first setting is, when the virtual machines are sitting idle, where in scenarios like the student has finished doing their lab, and they have forego 10 to shut down the VM, this setting will disconnect the user automatically. The second setting, talks about shutting down virtual machine, when user disconnect, to keep your cost down. The third setting is all about virtual machines, which are part of a particular schedule, and the student is not connected or not using it for his lab, this setting will shut down the VM after a period of time, after the schedule has started, so that we are not getting charged for any service that we don't use. And finally we can enable a peer virtual network, in case we need to allow the virtual machines to access a database, a storage or anything else that is going to be used as part of the environment. Let's click next, and it's very important to have tag. For the demo purpose, I am leaving it blank. We can go ahead and click review and create, review your setting, and finally select create. Our lab account is now created. Now we can go ahead and create users, such as professors, teachers or trainers that can create labs. To create a user, click add lab creators button at the bottom. Also you have the option to click on access control. Select, Add. Then, Add Role Assignment. Now, open the Role drop-down. And select, Lab Creator. Search for the user, you want to assign the role to, select them, and click Save. Now, the selected user has the permission, to create lab. Let's, go ahead and create the lab. To log into the Lab Creator user account, go to labs.azure.com. I am already loaded into the portal. To create lab, select create lab. You can give in the name of the lab. Select the operating system type. I have the Ubuntu, Windows 10 and Windows Server option here. The admin can customize the option from the lab admin console. I am selecting Windows 10 Pro from the drop-down list. Open the virtual machine size drop-down, review the options, and chose the machine size you prefer, and select next. Enter the default username and password that will be applied to all the virtual machines. We can also switch off the username and password for all virtual machines, which will enable a prompt for a new password at first log on. Let's choose next. And this is where as I mentioned earlier, the default values from the lab account, but as the owner of the lab, we have the ability to modify these setting based on the usage. And choose finish. The lab creation will take approximately 20 minutes. Your template is now set up, and we need to publish the template. To publish the template, click on the publish at the top, and choose the number of machines that you want in the lab. This process will take another one hour to complete. 
Now let's select Publish. In the dashboard, the first thing you are going to notice is this nice overview screen, which gives you an overall cost estimate based on usage of the lab. You can see the configuration based on quota hours, scheduled hours, maximum users and so on. Now, let's go ahead and add the users. And, you can see that there are no users that have been added. All we need to do is, provide an email address, or we can upload a CSV file, that contains a set of email addresses. I am giving in my personal email ID. The user is now created, and, now I have the ability to send invitations. You also see that, since it's based on email address, any particular users can be invited, and they does not have to be connected to the Azure Active Directory, or any kind of internal authentication system. Now, let's move to Schedules. Schedules allows you to create schedules for your lab. For example, to add lab availability, every Saturday from 10 a.m. until 12 p.m. Select Add Schedule and enter the recurrence date range and preferred times. If you want this to repeat, this for additional days, select additional days and then select Save. So, that's pretty much that side. Let's go to my Gmail account and open the invite and do the registration and it's gonna ask me to log in. So it's saying welcome and is sending me to the lab servers and now I can log in and connect to my virtual machine. As simple as that. So enter end very seamless experience. You can do a lot of customizations. That's the power of this Azure Labs. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in the comment section below. Please consider subscribing, and I will see you next time. Thank you.